all right today we are going to look into the transportation problems before we start we have to download the files for that you have to go to nabi.webd.com here you can see ms 460 if you click this google drive link it will take us to the google drive in the lab file we have a folder called transportation there you can see the template and the transportation problem you can download this to and start the work i have already downloaded that in the desktop so there you go that's our practice problem we have three problems right and we have our template so you can see we have a grid for the cost we have a grid for the shipment in a transport problem we have some uh, production uh, facilities and we have some demand facilities or selling points usually the production facilities such as these three will produce and the selling points will receive the product from the facility where the products are produced so in order to deal with the problem have a good read and you will see that all those uh, info are given and you just need to figure out so this is our cost the capacity for the plant and the demand in the region and we will see how to do it so we just give basic inputs you know we know the capacities And we know the demand. Now, uh, this grid will be our arbitrary value. We don't know these values, but we have to make sure that when we solve, we make it our changing variable. As we are going to solve it using the solver, our objective will be to minimize the cost so we will just fill in the module so this will be our arbitrary value any value you can put total sent from LA is the sum of B10 to E10 and we can drag total receive at east is the sum of b10 to b12 and we can track the total cost is the sum product of our cost grid and the sending grid the cost grid b4 e6 comma our sending grid b10 e12 so now we have set up our model now we are going to solve it using the solver in order to add the solver if the solver is not there you have to go to the option add-ins excel add-ins and you have to check the solver and click ok as it's added we can use it so we hit the solver our objective is to minimize the cost so our objective is b18 we want to minimize the cost our changing variable is the grid b10e10 now we are adding the constraints ascending cannot be greater than the capacity we add another one the received cannot be less than the demand so we add th those two constraints and we have to make sure that the sending is not negative so we check the non-negative one 
we solve with the simple filter which is solve and we will receive the result so that's it if if we have this sending scheme like LA will send to west Atlanta will send to Midwest and South and West with this amount and New York City is sending to East and Midwest with this amount our cost will be reversed for the problem too you can have a good read and we will now solve for the problem too we do not have any cost grid rather we are having a grid for the distance so populate that Now in order to find the cost we we see that in the question is given that like 100 miles cost four dollars so we divide by 100 into four so that is our cost for cost one once again I'm showing you before by 10 into 100 before by 10 into 100 uh, before by 10 uh, before by 100 into 10. sorry before by 100 into 4 I'm dragging this so I receive the cost grid now we have all the other given but here we can see that it's like in thousands So capacity is seventy thousand. Demand is forty thousand. This one will be our arbitrary value. Function of V16 F16 travels total receipt is the summation of V16 V18. You can drag those. The total cost is the sum product of the cost grid and the sending grid. The cost grid V10 is 12. The sending grid is V16 F18. So that's it. Our model is fixed. Now we are going to solve it. We hit solver. We want to minimize our cost. So V14 would be minimized by changing our variable V16 A F18. We add the constant. Send will be less than equal. Capacity. We add. The receipt will be greater than equal the demand. We check the unconstrained const uh, variable will be non negative. This one simply self is our method. We hit solve so 3609. That's our solution. So if we send in this fashion, our cost will be minimized. So we have a problem 3 here you can see like all the information are given so you have a read and we can do that so cost are given
and then we are also having the cost of the shortage these grid is our arbitrary value now we know how much what is available and we know what's the demand now we have to calculate the shortage in order to do that we just add all those top one so summation of g11 g13 now these are our arbitrary values and we put a summation b11 b14 and we drag and we do a summation here as well b11 d11 we drag those and then our total cost we have our sum product the cost grid multiplied by the sending grid. So our model is fixed. Now we are going to solve it. So we want our cost to be minimized by changing the variable. We add two constraints. We check the non-negative using simplex if we can solve all right I made a mistake and to change this this should be equal b15 d15 should be equal b17 d17 so if I solve it now I'm getting the result so that's our solution Previously, I mystically put a wrong equation. So that's it, it's solved. Thanks for watching.